What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin'? It's your girl Tina Blank, and we back again with another spa vlog. Yes, today I am doing an at-home spa in my crib. We got the hot tub ball, and we got the wax beads on steam, and of course we're gonna do an amazing face mask because we need to stay cute, we need to stay relaxed during these tough times, so why not have a little spa day in the crib? I'm gonna be waxing my underarms, I'm gonna be waxing my arms, and I'm gonna be waxing my mustache. You gotta keep it cute. All girls have mustaches. If you don't have a mustache and you're above the age of like 25, then kudos to you. But for the most part, everybody's hairy. So let's get into it. Ooh. <laughs> let's get to it. Okay, so I have my Epsom salt here. We're going to put it right in the tub. Just empty out the rest of this bag. I don't like to do the bubbles because in my jet tub, you're not supposed to put bath bombs and bubbles and all that stuff. So I'll do that upstairs. And then mix it around. And that was ready to chop <sighs> Okay, so I'm in the tub. As you can see, I have a bathing suit on, fully bathing suit, so don't come for me, YouTube's trying to say I don't got no clothes or what. Um, one of my favorite things to bring in the tub is my iPad mini. Um, so, I just go on my iPad. I'll look up a good movie to watch. I'm thinking about watching that Tiger King thing. I see that it's like really popular, so I'm probably going to watch that. Um, of course, you got to have some good old water because I'll be hot, especially when these jets come on and this bathroom is like not the biggest um it gets pretty hot so let's get into it and of course we have to finish off with a nice little face mask and a snack healthy snack face mask so let's get this spa day started i'm so excited i feel like i'm really at the spa spa even though i do this on a regular i just never recorded it but let me know down below if you would like me to record more spa days and, you know, let you know a few of my little beauty secrets and some of my scrubs I'll be using. Okay? So, yeah, let's put this face mask on first. Um, This is a honey face mask. Somebody actually gave me this face mask, I think for Christmas. And, yeah, you see when I'm using it. Thanks. I think, I think my sister gave me this face mask. Thanks, girl. So this is like the sheet mask. Mm. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Is this flap supposed to come down? always confuses me. Oh yeah. Yes, girl. <laughs> Shall we turn the jets on? Shall we? I haven't turned the jets on so long. It's the button. <laughs> And then I'll be back when it's 
time to wax. Definitely good to exfoliate the skin before you wax anytime. So shut up. That was so refreshing. My face had like a little light glow to it, which I'm really feeling. Don't mind the echo. We about to get up out of the tub and start this waxing. Ooh, I'm excited. Not really, but I'm excited because the hair's not gonna be there no more. Okay, ladies, this is time to get into the wax. All right, I think I'm gonna start on my underarms first and then I'm gonna do my lip because my lip is like so tender. It's so tender, so tender. Oh, where's the African spray? I just literally had this stuff out. All right, so they gave me this little spray that came with the kit. It's a pre wax treatment. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so we're gonna take our pre wax. And let me pull down my bathing suit because I actually don't want to get no wax on it. And you see the hair. Make sure that you... Oop. All right. I just rub it in. It's maybe more so like an alcohol. When you're waxing, make sure that you don't have no deodorant, no lotions, no oils on your body. Because it's going to be hard for the wax to grip. So that's why they put the alcohol on it for it like drop blood out. I recommend taking a shower, maybe even exfoliate in the area that you're going to wax before you just like get into it and just put like real wax on you. That, that's kind of crazy. So, let me zoom in. All right. So, I have a popsicle stick. This is my wax machine. So, I double, triple, double all of that in this wax machine. But if you are sharing or if you go to a wax salon, make sure that they are changing the popsicle sticks or you have a little container where they have your personal wax so they could keep on zipping in. Just about to swirl it. This wax is a little tricky. Okay, now it's ready to go. Ah! Oof, it wasn't even that bad. I just want to be dramatic. Um, yeah, so let me show you what he is. A lot. Y'all see the hand ain't there, so that's a good thing. Normally, when I have a piece like this, I'll just go over it and then rip that part up. When I do this, I'm just getting up the excess little string. I don't know if it could pick up on camera, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. Woo! 
Yes, nice and clean, literally in three rips. And you just pluck that stuff off. Quick and easy. Then you take your after wax treatment, it's just oil. So let's move to the next arm. Like before, take your spray. Get your wax popping. Sometimes I could do the whole arm, um, depending on how much hair is there. But the only thing is just like the whole arm of pain. Literally. Ooh, all right. Woo! Clean. One swipe. I'm getting so nice at this, baby. Get your oil. Bam. Clean. Like I like it. And when you wax your underarms, I noticed my underarms, they were never dark. But I did notice that they had like a little slight tint to it. Like especially after I shave, like when the hair is starting to come back in. Hold on, let me, let me back, back, back up. When the hair is coming in, I noticed that it's not doing it. So now, it's time for my least favorite part. I'm getting stuck on my nose ring. I need to buy a new one. This one is annoying. Since we're working on a smaller area, you're going to have to grab a smaller popsicle stick. Throw this one out. Bye-bye. Um, get that little one to swirly swim. I kid you not, I'm really not looking forward to this. Like, oh my God. I hope it's entertainment for y'all. Because this shit hurts. It really hurts. Like, and I don't know if the beads, like this wax, hurt more or do the other one hurt more. I really don't know. So I do my mustache in two sections. I do this side and I do this side. I try to get as close to up here as possible, but if I can't, I'm not gonna do it because that shit hurts. Like, I'm normally like pretty tolerant when it comes to pain. But now when it comes to the mustache, bro. So. Mm. Mm. I fucked up. Uh. Yeah, those are the little. This shit is finna hurt. It's finna hurt. I didn't want a little whisk on the side. I just gotta like go through it like a boss. You know what? Let me just hold this side. Let me do this side. Oh, 
sure I've even had that much hair on there. All right, that's a wrap. <laughs> that is a complete wrap. I didn't do my underarms, my mustache. I didn't relax. And, whew, and now it's time to have some blings boozy or maybe a little wine. I don't know. But thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my little spa time and actually learned something. Learn how to do that mustache and how to wax your underarms. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on another video. Peace! <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't even put the after treatment. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. One more tip. I do not recommend waxing before you have to go somewhere. Like if you have an event at 5, maybe wax at 10 because your mustache, it will still be red <laughs> and look like something's just missing. And also with your underarms as well, don't put deodorant directly on your underarms after you wax. Don't put no oil, you do not put anything. Me personally, I like to go the whole day without putting anything under my underarms. That's just me personally. I really don't smell too much. Um, but. You gotta do what you gotta do, cause I use oil and the shit burns when I put it directly on my arms after a wax. So, just a little tip. <laughs>